Do a walk around the hangar to see if there's anything I need to video straight away. The move in the tank just out the way. This is number two tank on the port side. I want to do some wiring inside its bay. The only thing I can see which has gone on since I was here last is the propeller for number three engine. This is the port side in a trailing edge. What actually they're doing to it, I'm not too sure. But they're telling me this should be going back on next week. The centre shaft there, or two, operates the flap. At the moment it's upside down. Jack's still waiting for the stiffener plate to come back from the hardeners. He's already drilled it and shaped it, but it needs hardening and cutting. Until he gets that back, it can't complete the frame. It needs to be hard riveted in on the inch post. It's Tuesday, March the 26th, 2019. Simone Cunningham's here today to shape the skins which fit around the wooden edge of the fin. Oh, this is Simone who's going to be showing it out. Yep, I'm going to, um, I'm going to turn this edge. It needs some roll to go over the birch. It is birch, isn't it, Keith? Is that birch? Ash. Ash. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we've got to, from flat, put some curve in it. So the secret with wheeling is that you don't stop the wheel in exactly the same place otherwise you get a build up so you've got to stagger the strokes and vary it so actually you're moving the metal along then in yeah. a sense so what will happen is there'll be a bit of double curve on this rather than just one roll the pressure on the wheel and the way you hold the skin um, you put you put shape that way and that way I see and it's a great job because there's a bit of a dying art not many people do it now no so I'm just leaning on the panel to turn it you see the shape coming yeah well I've turned it first so that's quite a sharp wheel because it's um, to roll but obviously when you look along that it's going to need a look, quite a bit of shrinking to get the panel to sit, sit down. Yeah. And do you adjust that you own, you set the wheel at a yeah, this correct stays, height? This stays the same, and that's the foot adjustment for the pressure. But I, because that wheel track is so thin, I don't want a lot of pressure because it will look like a thrippy bit. Oh, I see. And, and also, it will 
put too much shape in. So it's yeah. a nice, gentle. Yeah. And there'll always be a little bit of hand. So I'm going to just see whether I've got the, because I put a line on this. So that gives me the edge, inside edge of that wood. And then I trim the panel so there's not lots of excess material. So that gives me my guide. And I'll see if I've got my curve somewhere near it. Yeah. So, so as it wants more work this, this end, end. It? Yeah. yeah, because it's a lot wider up there, isn't it? And this goes yeah. to a taper, so that's going to be more yeah. shape, sharper. But this looks like it's going to be nice, but I've only just turned it, so obviously... Can you see up here? Yeah, you've got that? it, yes. That's yeah. all got to be shrunk, so it, it sits... So you shrink... Shrink the edge, and that, in effect, makes the panel go like that. Because all I've done is turn it. Oh, how do you shrink the edge? I thought it was expanding. That's the shrinker, so it's, it crimps it, pulls the material together. Oh, I see. Right? No, I thought you'd, you'd be, you're actually stretching the material at the moment. At Don't the moment, it. yeah, stretching it at the moment, and then when you look at that, because of the shape it's going, yes. it'll need a nice bit of shrink so that the panel sits down nice and tight. Yeah. yeah good. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? All um, your life? Uh, 30 odd years, my yeah. husband taught me. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah Robert Cunningham. Yeah, he's uh, probably worked on over 60 Spitfires. Yeah, mm. he's a bit special. Yeah. And I think I've got the best job in the world. Yeah? Good. And I'm ever so proud to work on the Lancaster. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put it on here now. I've got uh, two stages to this. That that's wheel. I've got an even thinner wheel, but because I'm doing both sides, I don't want to keep chopping and changing the wheel. Yes. So I'm going to get this one up to the stage, then the other one, then change, change the, the wheel, wheel to get the final shape. Yeah. yeah. You've done this before. <laughs> that one to the first stage but I'll, I'll just give it a little shrink now so you can uh in our workshop we have a power shrinker that's uh, like electric but I couldn't it was too big to bring so this yes. is a handheld yeah.
What is it, a compressed air one? Or? No, no, it's all hand. Uh, you no, know, I the meant the oh. one in the workshop at home. No, three phase. Oh. Three phase. Yeah. With nylon j jaws so it doesn't make a mark. But oh, th these, there's trim on this and I haven't finished it yet. I'll still turn it with a, with a narrower wheel and you won't see those at all. I'll start but I need the other wheel next. Okay. That that would be nice. More yeah, it's getting close yeah. that isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you can see the kind of misshape is it double, going yeah. out, isn't that's it? That's it, double curvature. Yeah. Oh that's great. Yeah, alright. Well done, thank you. <laughs> Does it work hard in the material? Yes. Yeah. This this won't be, because there's not a lot of shape in it. Yeah. But if you had a a panel like an engine cow, yeah. where there's a lot of shape, then it gets hard. Yeah. And it will thin out as well. Yeah. This is the crimping machine which shrinks the edges. Do you bring your own wheels or are they yeah. You know what it's like, you know your own stuff, yeah. don't you? I checked this morning on the cameras on the internet oh, and yeah. I saw you working like that. I thought, oh, I'll come out and look. Really? Yeah. If you're a member of the club, the, the um, oh, Rivet Club, Rivet club yeah. They, there's two cameras, there's oh. one there and one over there. And um, I often see Keith working, I see what he's doing, then I come out and, and look at his work. And that gives the sharper bend of it. Yes. Yeah. Nice light pressure, so there's no lines. Mm. <laughs> Your inspection. Look, not, not that my inspection is going to mean much, but. <laughs> Four or five times.
lot of shrinking now. That shrinkage does it. Yeah, that, that's shrinking. It's so it like crimps it a bit like a pie crust. Yes. So what we've got to do is, is get this panel to come around like that so it sits on to that trailing so, edge. So you, what do you do? More crimping here? Or yeah, all the way, all the all way. way along. Yeah, because it's far too straight at the moment. Yeah. Do you try to avoid where you've already crimped? Yeah. yeah. Just nice and even. Because that must go hard as you work it, yeah. does it? Yeah. yeah. But it, um, when when it's finally done and it fits, I'll over shrink it a touch more and then go through the wheel so it'll blend all these little nodules. Yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm learning a lot this morning, a new trade. It's amazing. Yeah, I start work down in Dorset on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to take my own sandwiches though. No, you don't. I'll make you tea. I'll make you lunch. I've <laughs> got. Certainly is a work of art, isn't it? The crimping machine, do you put different um, jaws in it? No, they're fixed. Yeah. They're, they're fixed, so you spread the the distance between the crimps to That's get it. the bend. Yeah. yeah. Is that panel about right? It's done now. So the first four are done. Oh, you've got four done, have you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cheaper. It's probably got three out. You're right with that. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you.